welcome to home school we are discussing a chapter tissues isn't it so in that we have actually started discussing about the connective tissue in my previous video we discussed about two important connective tissue that is about a blood and we also discussed about a bone along with the bone uh, some more important connective tissues like uh, ligament and tendons also we discussed so in today's class let us discuss about the other types of connective tissue uh, mainly the cartilage okay so what do you mean by cartilage and where does it present inside a body you know guys cartilage is present present uh, in joints okay in joints you know in the joints we have so many joints isn't it a knee region we have a joint we have joints here everywhere wherever bone connections are there uh, you know uh, that is called as joints so in the joints the cartilage tissue is present okay it is one of the connective tissue okay so what will this cartilage do guys in the joints in the joints what is it doing it actually smooths smoothens the surface of bone okay so it is actually present on the surface of bone guys it gives that smoothness say it, uh, uh, between the joints you should have that smoothness right so it is due to the presence of cartilage tissue okay and you know the cartilage uh, is also present present in nose ear right say uh, the the tissue whatever we can if you touch your ear ear pinna you know what you can fold your ear pin yes or no it's because there is a cartilage tissue guys okay say it is a cartilage it's a soft cartilage tissue you can even fold it right so uh, th that's the nature of cartilage guys it's very smooth tissue okay so cartilage is actually Uh, a smooth tissue smooth tissue and here uh, the cells have lots of spaces in between them okay so let me just give you one diagram of cartilage imagine this is a cartilage uh, tissue where you have cells see these are the cells of cartilage tissue see there are so uh, lots of spaces see between this and this you have lots of spaces between this and this there is lots of space right and you know all these cartilage cells are actually present in a solid matrix guys it is a solid matrix okay so the matrix is solid and this particular matrix is made up of made up of proteins and sugars okay so it's made up of proteins and sugars guys so this is how the cartilage looks like you have lots of free spaces between the cells you know note down the point point is very important uh, lots of free spaces free spaces are present present between between the cells okay so that's the reason it is actually very much soft and you can even fold you know you know what your nose is also very much flexible i can move it see this entire nose is made up of which tissue guys which connective tissue the cartilage tissues okay so why this is so much flexible you know why it is so much smooth and flexible inside is because you have this lots of spaces free spaces between the cells cells are not very closely and tightly packed now there are spaces between them that's the reason this connective tissue is very much soft clear fine so that's all about cartilage and now let us go to one more connective tissue that is areolar connective tissue very important tissue areolar connective tissue so guys you know uh, areolar okay so actually the name only says here air spaces you will find certain air spaces in this tissue guys okay between the cells you know in inside a cell or between the cell you have certain air spaces okay air filled area you know that's the reason it is actually called as areolar areolar connective tissue 
clear and you know where is this areolar connective tissue present guys it is present between between the skin and muscle okay skin and muscle right say whatever the thing you are seeing this is your skin you have layers of skin no doubt but below the skin you have actually a muscle okay say because of the muscle you you can uh, see the movements of the hand you can move your hand however you want isn't it say with the help of a hand with the movement of my hand i can write i can wave at my friend i can do all the other works the movements is due to muscle guys okay and where is this muscle present below the skin actually Hmm? so between this skin and muscle uh, there is a connective tissue that is called areolar connective tissue okay so not only between the skin and muscle it is also present present or i can say it it fills it is actually filling fills the gap gap in the organs okay so in the organs if you have a gaps organ is made up of tissues only say if you have a gaps between the tissues you know this areolar connective tissue can be present there it can fill the gap guys okay say for example you know you are constructing a building right say how do you construct with the help of a brick this is one brick this is another brick you know uh, if you just arrange the bricks will you get a building no right you have to fill the gaps of this bricks with the cement right it is a binding material cement is a supporting material binding material say the brick has to be uh, arranged on cement right you should fill the cement these gaps have to be filled with the cement so just like that imagine you have an organ this is your organ organ is made up of tissues so this is one tissue and you know this is another tissue so you would be having gaps between the tissues right you would be having certain spaces between the tissue so this space is filled with areolar connective tissue okay so it actually gives support so it protects protects the organs organs or uh, uh, tissues other tissues okay and you know it it repairs the tissues repairs it can also repair the tissues imagine uh, uh, if the cells of the tissue got damaged this areolar connective tissue that is present you know that can repair also right so these are the various functions of areolar connective tissue you know how does they look like actually areolar connective tissue say imagine uh, you have different types of cells in the areolar connective tissue you know you have uh, certain structures like fibers you know you have fiber like structures right so these are certain fibers so here and there you will observe certain cells also okay different shaped cells you will have different shaped cells okay certain cells are round certain cells are something like this elongated you know certain cells are you know the star shaped like that there are many cells guys okay and you know all these cells say this the, these are fiber cells okay uh, fiber cells are there a uh, different shaped uh, cells are actually there and you know all these cells are actually placed in a matrix and here the matrix is jelly type okay so all these different cells of areolar connective tissue keeps floating in a jelly matrix okay so what is the type of matrix here jelly matrix guys remember this matrix is gel type okay so that is about areolar connective tissue right so it is actually protecting a tissue it fills the spaces between the tissue it fills the spaces in the organs it is present below the skin so what is its duty it, it protects actually okay it gives support and it can also help in the repairing of the tissues in case the tissues gets damaged it can repair the tissues so that is the work of areolar connective tissue and let us go to the last type of tissue that is adipose tissue guys can you be able to think of 
where is fat present inside a body? See, our body has lots of fat. We keep hearing fat is there in a skin, right? Lots of fat is there in a body. Usually the people who are fat is because more fat is there inside body. So where is this fat getting stored inside a body? The fat is present in adipose tissue. Okay, so fat, fat is stored in, uh, you know, adipose tissue. So where is this adipose tissue present, guys? This adipose tissue is mainly present below the skin. Okay, below the skin. Just below the skin, you have a fat tissue. That is what we call adipose tissue. You know what? Cells of adipose tissue. Cells of adipose tissue is called, is called adipocytes. What are they called? Adipocytes. Got it? And these adipocytes are having fat globules, guys. Adipocytes has fat globules. Clear? They have a big globule, you know, a, a, a chamber, vacuole-like thing, which consists of the fat. This is how they look like. You know, uh, the cells are quite big. Okay, bigger cells. And uh, where the most of the space, you know, this is the nucleus. Okay. And this is what the fat globule, guys. See, you see? And this is cytoplasm, nucleus, cytoplasm of adipocyte. The cell of adipose tissue is called adipocyte, okay? And this one, this one is called, you know, fat globule, right? So this is where in this particular area, the fat is stored, you know, in every uh, cell of adipose tissue, right? So uh, the, all the cells are actually embedded in a matrix, you know? This is present in a, all these keep floating, you know, they are present in a matrix, okay? So, where is the present? I said this is present below the skin, okay? Not only uh, uh, below the skin, it is also present, also present between, between the internal organs, internal organs organs okay so uh, uh, around a liver you have adipose tissue you know each and every organ uh, uh, between the organs you actually have the adipose tissue and what work will it do what is the main function of this adipose tissue this is very important guys adipose tissue is very important is because it gives strength to the different parts of a body and you know it can protect the different parts of the body and also it gives a kind of insulation to the body that is the main function guys adipose tissue adipose tissue gives insulation to the body insulation to the body okay and it gives a kind of cushion gives a kind of cushion, you know, soft feeling. Say, for example, uh, if I press my skin, you know, it's it's very much soft, cushion. Okay, this is what, it, it gives a kind of cushionary feeling to the skin actually. Okay, so presence of adipose tissue is actually very, very important, right? And, you know, what do you mean by the word insulation? Actually, our skin and our body is designed in a such a way that we can, uh, our body or our skin actually can protect from certain shocks, okay? We can protect ourselves from certain shocks, electrical shocks it may be, okay? So, that is what we mean by insulation here, okay? So, what do you mean by insulation? Protecting ourselves from certain kind of shocks, okay? And, you know, the fatter people will not feel so much cold during winters, but the thinner people feel so much cold during the winters. 
Yes or no? So you you ask a thinna person and a fatter person who feel more cold during winters, thinner people. It's because you know they don't have so much of fat. You know that fat tissue can give a kind of warmness to our body. It can keep our body a little warm, guys. Okay, so that's the reason fatter people will not feel so much cold during winters because they might have had lots of adipose tissue, isn't it? So that adipose tissue will give. Uh, a kind of warmness to their body it protects their body more against the cold okay it protects the body more against certain shocks got to know so this is the main work of adipose tissue clear so this is entire things about the connective tissue so how many different types of connective tissue we studied guys we studied blood we studied bone uh, tendon ligament cartilage areolar connective tissue and adipose connective tissue all are different in their structure isn't it all have different types of cells they are present in various regions of the body and all have different functions isn't it their jobs are different right say how all are different from each other the bone is different from blood uh, blood is different from cartilage, adipose tissue is different from areolar connective tissue. They are doing wonderful jobs inside our body. Okay, so imagine guys, if this connective tissue, different types of connective tissues were not there inside our body, what would happen, what would happen to our body? The body would completely collapse, isn't it? So each and every type of connective tissue is very important. They, uh, they have their own jobs inside our body, they are doing their wonderful duties isn't it and remember each one of the tissue is completely different from other isn't it so that's all about our connective tissue in my next class let us discuss about the muscular tissue okay till then keep revising the chapter if you like our video please like share and subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in the easiest way and in a detailed way thank you